We wanted to show you the magnitude, the impact of suicide on Washington State. We lit 91 candles in honor of the 91 young lives lost to death by suicide in 2018 alone. In fact, suicide is the second leading cause of death in kids and teens in the United States. Studies suggest that kids are under more pressure than ever before. External pressure from social media, where girls are more susceptible to bullying. Even electronics offer an unhealthy escape. Kids avoid uncomfortable feelings by burying their thoughts in entertainment on phones and tablets, not learning the skills to cope. Kids are also feeling more pressure to achieve in school, coupled with concerns about making a living when they grow up. And that's not all. Researchers say parents can often be to blame. The John Hopkins Center for Talented Youth says parents of high-achieving students play a detrimental role by pressuring their children to achieve. Also, parents should be wary of unrealistic praise. So what can we do? First, connect, not just with our kids, but other parents and teachers who might have vital observations. Second, cut down on after-school activities so kids have more time for homework and family time. Limit technology and ask for help. Do not be shy. Ask for insight from school counselors, pediatricians, or therapists. We'll be diving into issues like this all week long, along with nightly news and the Today Show to talk about this issue because it is so important to speak out and speak up. Now, some of the signs and symptoms of suicide include someone talking about suicide actively, someone looking for ways to kill oneself, or someone even hinting at the idea of suicide, saying things like, I hope you miss me when I'm gone. If you feel these things, if you know anyone that does, contact the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, the numbers on your screen, or just text the word HEAL to 741-741. Back to you.